In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve the Alex problem, interconverting calories in joules. In order to solve this problem, you need to know a couple of conversion factors. Number one, you need to know that one calorie is equal to 4.184 joules. And I do want to point out that this is a calorie with a lowercase c. A calorie with a capital C is something different. You also need to know that one kcal, kilocalorie, is 1,000 calories. So this K kilo is just our metric prefix, kilo, with, which represents 1,000. One kilo of anything is 1,000 of that thing. Um, so just because I mentioned it, I wanna put like a little side note that if you have a capital C calorie, that is equal to a K cal. Um, and we don't have any capital C calories in this particular problem, but if you do come across it, that is what it represents. So in this problem, we are given three different situations and we are given one particular energy unit, either calorie, kcal, or kilojoule, and we have to convert it into the other two units. So let's just start with the calorie to kcal conversions for the first two problems because those are pretty straightforward. When we are being um, starting with calories, so we have 1.25 times 10 to the fifth calories and we're converting that into kcals. Treat this like any type of unit conversion problem. Put the unit that you don't want down on the bottom. Put the unit that you do want up on the top. One kcal is 1,000 calories or 10 to the third calories. And this is going to be 1.25 times 10 to the 2 kcal. So here we're just dividing by 1,000. This problem is telling us that we want to be rounding our answers to three sig figs. So we'll pay attention to that. Um, and let's do, let's do the second problem, which is asking us to go in the other direction. So it's starting with kcal, and it's asking us to convert that into calories. In this situation, we are going to be multiplying by 1,000. So if we're starting with 115 kcals, we want our kcal unit down on the bottom. We want our calorie unit up on top. One kcal is 1,000, or 10 to the third calories. 115 times 10 to the third calories with a small c, 115 times 10 to the third, and you know Alex isn't going to like it if I actually enter the number in this way, it's going to want me to say 1.15 times 10 to the 5. So there's these two parts. Um, now let's work on doing some of the kilojoule conversions. So notice that our conversion factor here is between calories and joules. This is asking us for units of kilojoules. So if I want to do this in you know several steps and be really detailed about it, I can convert from calories into joules and then from joules into kilojoules. I'll show you a faster way to do that after we do it um, this way one time. So let's go back up to our cooked green peas, 1.25 times 10 to the fifth calories. We're going to convert that into joules using this conversion factor right here. Calories down on the bottom, joules up on top, 4.184 joules per calorie. I need to use my calculator for this. 1.25 times 10 to the fifth times 4.184. That gives me 5.23 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 joules. And joules is not the unit that I'm looking for. I'm looking for kilojoules. So that means I need to do one more conversion. I want my joule unit on the bottom, kilojoule unit up on top. One, one kilojoule is 1,000 joules. And so this is going to give me 523 kilojoules. Now, a little bit faster way that we could solve this problem um, is by looking at the relationship between calories and joules and kcals and calories, and then kind of translating that into kcals and kilojoules. So if one calorie is 4.184 joules, then one kilocalorie is going to be uh, 4.184 kilojoules. And this, I'm getting this just by taking this conversion factor and putting just putting the kilo unit in front of both of my units. That works. It doesn't change the relationship there. So using this is going to make, um, make the conversion factor a little bit faster. So let's apply that to the grapefruit juice. 115 kcal, kcal 
and convert that into kilojoules. Okay, cal down on the bottom, 4.184 kilojoules up top. And that gives me 481 kilojoules. So the last thing that is needed is our um, slice of apple where we're working backwards in this problem, starting with kilojoules converting into kcals, 1.69 times 10 to the third kilojoules going back into kcals. I think it would be easier to do kcals first because we can use this same conversion right here. One kilocalorie is 4.184 kilojoules. 1.69 times 10 to the third divided by 4.184. This gives me 404 kcals. And then to go from kcals to calories, that's this conversion right here. We just simply need to multiply by 1,000 for four times 10 to the third. Again, Alex does not want you to put it in this format. Alex wants it to be 4.04 times 10 to the five.